Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the most common side effect of dopamine agonist. All of these medications that you see here. My name is uh, Dr. Sayas. I'm a neurologist specialized in movement disorders. Okay, let me start saying that I am not a fan of this type of medication, uh, but they are actually the second most powerful medication that we have available to treat Parkinson's disease after levodopa. They still have the, the uh, good role in the management of patients with Parkinson's disease. And the reason why I'm not a fan is because of the side effects that we are going to discuss soon. I will tell you that the, the perfect patient for this medication is somebody non obese young female with depression, insomnia, and just minimal motor dysfunction, and no history of addiction or compulsive disorder. If you have any of these combinations of, of, of this characteristic, you might be a good candidate for this medication. Otherwise, it is, it is always better to, to try levodopa, especially if you have significant disability. Now let's talk about the, the most common side effect of this group of, the, of medication, dopamine agonist. The first one is sleepiness, and actually more than levodopa. The main concern is having a sleep attacks, especially if you are driving. This is kind of scary. Um, so make sure that you know how you react to this medication if you are going to drive. The other one common is a swelling of the ankles. Uh, also dropping blood pressure. Uh, especially when you stand up, uh, even more than, than levodopa. And the most important side effect that that family need to monitor or caregiver need to monitor is impulse control disorder. When I say impulse control disorder, I mean um, shopping a lot in the internet, gambling, eating excessively, and hypersexuality. The other problem is when we want to taper down this medication, approximately 20% of the patient develop what we call dopamine agonist withdrawal syndrome, which is usually described as a nervous breakdown. Very difficult for patient to describe. And this is actually when patient call you uh, and they cannot explain you how they feel. They feel, they, some of them might feel depressed, cranky. They feel very anxious. They cannot sleep, restless, sweating, more fatigued than usually. So very, very difficult for them to describe. And the treatment for that is actually putting them back on the medication, but the lowest dose possible. And some patients, they, we cannot even um, discontinue this medication because they develop this, this problem. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.